ما شو؟ شايف ما اذكاها؟ والله انما يدل على انك بهير. في مثل النعجة على طول.
Yeah, we are still on the green line. We are in the area that occupied uh, on 1948. This is called uh, Lwalaja. It's old village here. And it's become now uh, old Lwalaja because this area was evacuated in 48 and people transferred in another place on the other side. Next to that uh, road, which is occupied uh, later on in uh, 67, it's called New Lwalaja because people transfer from this side to the other side, but even though they are threatened to keep evacuated, if we visit that area, we will see that most of the uh, houses are demolished, uh, and uh, ma many actually, many houses were demolished, and many ha houses have uh, order uh, to be demolished later on. So as you see, we are on the green line, and here you could see here the, the, the trail, and uh, this trail, uh, uh, bring uh, stuff from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem and uh, this was made during the Turkish period but actually it became more active uh, between uh, 48 and uh, 67 because uh, uh, when the uh, Jewish uh, occupy the western side of Jerusalem uh, they used to transfer uh, commodities and different products from Tel Aviv to that area and this uh, trail was protected by the treaty uh, that uh, between Arabs, Arab uh, states and uh, uh, newborn uh, Jewish uh, state uh, and you could see it's like a small area but it's divided uh, into um, many uh, yeah. areas and every, every slice uh, regulated by a, a special treaty. Okay. Part in that area. That area occupied. Um, so he stay in uh, 
Yeah. 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 Ye
chick horns, talk a lot of things, learn, and then you couldn't move. Uh, I couldn't move sometimes to El Khadr. For three months, I couldn't move to them because Israelis I don't need us and want us to move. Uh, if the separation wall come and uh, make as a rank on our leg or make us. So how, how can I move? I don't know if there is by uh, the special plans for a Palestinian or uh, by special jeep or they can uh, throw something toward us to eat. No, I, I have this uh, this uh, a good idea, a good meeting for tomorrow. Uh, if I really want to go back to read just the facts, what Israeli side work on the ground, I don't know. Maybe someone else uh, talk better than me about that. What do you think? I worked in my uh, I made peace uh, and conflict research about Palestine. And after that, I have this idea. Uh, in Palestine, the Palestinian side, there is one, um, one uh, 11, uh, sorry, 11,000 persons in the Israeli prison. Uh, just we have one as a Palestinian and they the hostage person and they try to kill all the people in Gaza and the clean the war in Gaza because this one and uh, they can say okay for two states but even that uh, we have no way to the Palestinian state because we have nothing till now to have we have no land, we have no way to move from place to place. So, I don't know how we can build our state. Sorry, it's a... No, no, no.
Of course. I haven't passed it be. I met him before. But it was more longer. Yeah. More, yeah. I am around. In this place, we have will of the water. The Israeli, after, after 1967, he put the hand for this will of the water. All the Palestinian people in Ramallah, he used this will. And he took the water of this will. And it's, uh, uh, it's a good water in the Palestinians. When he, when he put the, uh, the hand with him in this uh, will, now he take the water for the Palestinians with money. We build the, the water, the Palestinians' water for the Palestinian people with money. And the big problem, when he take for the uh, one coup for the Israel, the settlements here, take with him in the coup in one shekel. But for the Palestinians, five shekel the one coup. And three months, in one year, he's without water. But we can't go to the Israel to see the picnic, the uh, water, or the time in, uh, under the trees. But the Palestinians here, three months, in one year, he's close with him. I can't start? It's okay, yes. <laughs> no, yes. Chuck. Uh, Prince. I am Sarah Khawaji. <laughs> <laughs> you wait because you are not here. Yeah. Uh, this is another strategy for the Israelis. The first, he take all the land between uh, 1948 and after 1967. The people here, he's on the land, uh, 58,000 dunam. He, the land for the people in Alim, he's each a Lud and Ramla inside the 1948. After uh, the incubation, he came in 1948 and 1967, the people lost all, a lot of the land. And just we have with him 14,000 uh, dunam. He's not a stand and the Nakba, he's not enough uh, and it's not stopped in 1948. He's, uh, all the days of the Palestinians and the people in Narin, we have in Nakba. Like what happened here, the Israel is building five settlements at Narin land. One, it's Al uh, Hashmunayin. Another, it's Mitat Yahu. This is Karyat Sefer. It's uh, not uh, a new settlement. We have uh, 45,000 settlers inside this uh, uh, settlement, biggest settlement. Yeah, we have nine towns of the Palestinians now. Nine towns, we stay with him, 31,000 persons. But in one settlement, we have 30, uh, 45,000 uh, uh, settlers. He's not just building the uh, uh, settlement, he opened this road because to another idea, another reason to uh, take the land. After and before, when I want to come in between Nialin and we have uh, another town, Safa town or Bil'in town, just five minutes. 
Now the Israeli, when he opened this road, he said, can't to use all the people he used this road. After he's finished the settlements, he built them in this side wall and in another side wall and here checkpoint and the roads are security. Security to road. If I want to go to Bil'in, I go to Ramallah and return back to Bil'in, I need one hour, but before we need just five minutes. This is the problem for the Palestinians. When he building the uh, wall, he put inside the wall uh, doors because to said we have times you can be the farmers to go for the trees. Now the doors and the first wall he's finished, he's uh, made another wall. The first wall inside the trees, you see him and you see when the security place for the soldiers place near with him now it's a new wall but we finished the first wall behind the wall and the wall just we have 100 meters 20 meters in this side the israelis start to building this wall he's like the snack he's coming inside the towns and inside the trees he just in this side, the people lost around 6,000 trees of oil. 6,000. 120 farmers, he lost all the land with him. And we have 2,400 lands, uh, uh, 1,000 lands is taken uh, behind the settlements and the wall. This is not security wall. We need to inch between the, uh, the green line. Uh, 176 kilometer. The wall takes 763 uh, kilometer because he's uh, going inside the towns uh, like it's not what you see in the Kubit Rahil and the Jerusalem and the uh, 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 towns. Another thing, he opened this road and he's cutting Nalin up and Nalin down. Another strategy, he wants to build it now new wall near the roads and uh, start to you see between the trees here in these trees he building tunnel because after he's closed the people uh, for the towns we can to put one jeeps in the door of the tunnel and the tunnel it's mean for the Palestinians people like what happened in Jayus he's opened the tunnel in one day 45 minutes in one day how we can the people here, the industrial towns, he can just open with him 45 minutes in one day. Five factories here. One of the factories for the cola, the Jews, the gas, you see how many, and another industrial uh, towns. And it's marketing, it's the center for the marketing for all the towns. When he close and open this, uh, and make this tunnel, how are he doing? Where's the people he's where? For this reason, the Israel, the government of Israel, he's the terrorist. Not the people he ch uh, choose the terrorists to attack with him. He's punished with him. He's put him to kill with him. In 100, in one years, when the people, the people still committee, is start to uh, against the uh, wall uh, and uh, share in the demonstration piece, the Israel killed four persons in one years. One of him is ten years. 10 years after the demonstration, BC is finished two hours. The, the one of the jeeps is killed with him. Now, at, in one year, the Israel injured 600 persons. A, lo, a lot of them, it's international people, one of them in the French and Italy, and uh, if you uh, listen before, one month of uh, Christians, American people, and he's injured, it's dangerous. Now he's in the hospital in Tel Aviv, and media people is uh, injured. This in one in one year, and he uh, arrests 63 persons. 63 persons, uh, all of them uh, take him inside the home. One of them is 11 years. Muhammad Salah, one of the names, the children, 11 years. He arrested with him when he's uh, asleep behind his mother and uh, his uh, father with him. He wants to punish this model. It's uh, in the model in Nalin. We have a lot of models like Bil'in and Masra and Sosia and uh, Jayus in Palestine, but this is in Nalin we have a new model. New model is where the Palestinians together, you need all the parties and all the organization and take it the strategy for the non-violence. And he's not stopped in the first six months. All the days we have demonstration and we have activities, not just in the Friday. After when the Israeli building this uh, Buddha steel, 
and uh, because the idea and the strategy was our the, the Israeli the company of the Israeli he think he can to building the wall in four months the another strategic for the Palestinians how we can to not take time with him in four months to finish the wall now after one year he's not finished to building the wall but he ومشكات على العيلة اللي تشتات في ليلة في لحظة شالها الولاد وبنات نار الرشاشات جرت منها تخبات ضرب المدفخ لخت الزال الدار عليها رابات هادي غزة في نهار تحضر بالحديد والنار والحاكم الكيدار في فندق فايغ ستار سكرانو مع لبالو تحت جاهو ومالو والعباد فيها يتقاتلو من دمهم ما بقى والو غزة 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 شعب العزة وتحرك يا بوروسا يا اللي بحياتك تعزة كلمات واشعار سمعتها ليل ونهار وعسكر التتار قتل كبار وصغار عسكر التتار يا اسرائيل يا تتار يا قتالة يا دباحة يا عدوة الانسان Shit that you ever heard One for the money, two for the good ladies Let me see your G-string drop Time for some action, you know we don't flop to the top This is how we do every day Knocking out niggas in the face like cash clay Baby, baby, what can we do? Let's go for a ride with me and my crew Unstoppable, inflammable, sensational, international High class quality, the best you can get You better check, you gotta set the internet of life One standing on the line, booyah, in the house that I die. We are all together. Yeah. Alan, in the roof here. You can sing for me? That is it. Yani. Yani, he will try. He will try to best to. In 1967, Hebron was occupied by the Israelis as other West Bank cities. The first occupation of Hebron was 67, and since that time, the Israelis start to settle their settlement in the center of the old city. These numbers show the settlement and the settlers located in the center of the old city, which is make Hebron a unique situation. Why we always mention Hebron have a unique situation? Because of the existence and the location of the settlement and the settler in, center, in the center of the city, in between Palestinian houses. In other West Bank cities, you will find settlements surrounding the area, in the outer settlement. In Hebron, you will find them here, in between Palestinian houses. This is the old Hebron, here. This is Palestinian houses, here and here, while this is settlement and settlers in the center of the city. They are connecting the settlement between the road called the Al Shuhada Street or the Marchal Street. Palestinians are allowed to walk or to drive over these streets. It is just up here. Close to us, yes. Okay, we saw the, 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 the not allowed to, to, 
No other steering is allowed to walk or to drive. I will show you in the next slides uh, where the steering is not allowed to walk or to drive. There. No. This is Kiryat Abba, the outer settlement. The idea is to connect the settlement here, number one, with number A6 between and, and within the old city. From here, all of these shops closed. Look what they will did. The shops, the Israelis. By the way, there is an Israeli camera who are filming us and they are doing everything. You see? So this is the way that 500 of should close here, left and right. This is the way that we have to do this. So this old man always should carry everything. <laughs> I'm filming that area, you're not filming this one. Okay, we can. We internationals, they work with us peacefully right now. Look how they are doing it. Okay, go. No need. Here, we want to go to the other side. That's a Palestinian cemetery. You see, if you go to the other side, it used to take us just only two minutes from here to there. If you want to go to Gadar, we have the sacred around from here, come back from the other street, from the other, the other back side of the mountain, and come back from the other side. 12 kilometers instead of like one kilometer from here. The Israelis have many two points like this over the roofs, and here over these roofs also. Here. You can see? We cannot restore the tent, that area. The tent is Israeli. Israel. Yes. The Israeli. Yes. All of this uh, Israeli. This is the settlement. They live in between Palestinian houses. We cannot go and restore the area. You can see dangerous situation. You see? Here. But sorry, but uh, how live the Israeli people inside the city? Good. They are here, they pay money. They give them money. And they are funded by the Jewish community to come here and to attack Palestinians. They have their own market and they have their own business to the left, in the Kiryat Arba. Kiryat Arba is to the left. They have the, the, the market. They have the market, they sell, they have like a city. In Kiryat Arba, it's like a city. They have some shops here also in the market. They are in the city here, 
They are controlled the city by that military tower, you see? Yeah. Over that mountain. You see the military, the water, the, the, close to the mosque. Another one here. Here, if you put my finger here, this mountain. The new one is here. But they are not a... There's a soldier. The project to build a wall. No, 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 not the wall. It's uh, just, it's already a wall. <laughs> it's already divided. It's already divided. This is quite in the last map. This is about 512 shops exactly closed by military order in the old city of Hebron. Closed by military order, that's means not allowed to open, while we have hundreds of shops closed uh, uh, voluntary because there is no business, there is no customers come to the old city. This is the military area, nobody allowed to go and you see the doors. They took this area, they confiscate this area and they take this area. Checkpoint like this, closure, closure, everything is dead. This is called the chicken market. Chicken market. The bar is a chicken market. All of this area sells chicken. Chicken, 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 chicken for eat and for life. Here. Now it's nobody, no business. Al Shuhada Street is there. The red line, we saw it in the last map. Ah, okay. We cannot go street? there. Yes, we cannot go there because the Israelis have military order cars and police are not allowed to walk. Not at all. The Israeli camera and the flag and the uh, checkpoint here. Or the check post over there. Like this. 20 years old closure like this. Still until today. This is the old closure, the oldest closure, the old shape of the closure still until today. They are update their closure like concrete blocks like this one. The internal closure is to the city. Hebron city built building by building adjacent to each other. There is no wall surrounding Hebron like Jerusalem. While the city entered through the tunnels or through archway. Closing of these tunnels or archway that means denying the access and close the entrances to the city. We have Israeli High Court uh, decision that uh, Palestinians can come and take this house by local commander in Hebron. They said no, stop. stop, this is a military zone. So they have the same goal. Settlers and army in Hebron, they have the same plan. Oh, this area, the soldiers jump in this house and they lock the door. You see? The gate of the, the main entrance to this house is blocked by the Israelis. Nobody allowed to go inside. We are not allowed to restore this area. One soldier can close the main entrance to the city. This is one of the main entrances to the city, and you can see it's controlled by the checkpoint there. This is the settlement. It used to call uh, Osama School. This is a school, yes. Osama School. No problem. Like the yeshiva. You can see here also the back side of this building. We are not allowed to restore. It's a military place. A military place. Ah, military This is the horse carriages I told you. This is the horse carriage where? This is one of the checkpoints in the whole city. We put this wire net to protect also people because they are living under the settlement here, close to the settlement here. And you can see the huge stones, the huge rubbish here, that they are through to the Palestinians. You can see by your eyes. We are restoring the shops to encourage more people to come back here. Here is the settlement again. They are the boy of Adassa settlement, where the settlers live. This is the Palestinian family, the Palestinian house. They are suffering a lot because daily they have to go through this entrance to their home. They have to jump from roof to roof to enter their home because they don't allow to go by the main door because the settlement surrounding them while soldiers and their cameras everywhere. Here we are in the old market of Hebron and this is the back side of the settlement what the Israelis call it the Abraham Avino. The Palestinian name is the vegetable market, or it used to be the wholesale market. The website is here. Settlers, you see, we put a wire net here 
to protect people or visitors come to the city because settlers remove uh, stones, they throw stones, they throw dirty water, cocktail it off, and uh, I'm in here. And you can see here also a lot of rubbish and dump here. It's very dangerous when you walk here on Friday and Saturday because settlers are off, they are all the way here. To the left, we are not allowed to restore or to re maintain this area. It's a controlled by the Israeli and they call it the military area, or military zone. No Palestinians allowed to go inside this area or to restore it. Another closure, another fence, nobody allowed to go there. But look how is the challenge. We made it, we make it a, like a shop. Yeah. You can see? Yes, 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 yes. to say a few words for you because you are in Hebron yeah. and we get our energy from you and as much as you talk about Hebron we will become more strong with you and uh, for uh, others people you will be like our uh, our ambassadors when you back home you will be like our yeah. representative in your home for the Italian people I would like to mention that we have a good cooperation with the Italian uh, former level and also, I know that most of the Italian people, like Bobby Love, Ilevel, are uh, with Palestinians. They are supporting the Palestinian uh, issue. And what we need from you to, to come to Hebron or to come to Palestine, to know that there is people who deserve the life, that there is people who are willing to do peace here in the ground. We are ready for peace and we will be very thankful for you, for you keeping supporting us and keeping um, uh, the, to highlight the Palestinian issue all over the world. Thank you.
seguimi sulle pendici del tuo stupore Sarò acqua per i tuoi deserti ai margini della tua strada Vecchie immagini in bianco e nero Popoli dove la terra diventa prigione Brina dove comincia la Palestina Confine del tempo e limite in movimento Pianteremo le radici nel vento Gerusalemme la tua gente porta una croce Da rivendere ad ogni passante Da dove la storia non ha capito mai nessuna lezione Restano gli orfani di una nazione A te ragazzo e suoni il liuto Lascio gli accordi di una canzone 